Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and uh, I wish you all a fantastic Merry Christmas. I hope you've all had a fantastic time uh, over the Christmas period. Uh, I know I have, it's been a fantastic Christmas with friends and family. Um, you may notice a different background here, I'm on a different table today and that's because I'm filming whilst I'm at my, uh, my parents' house and um, I thought I'd do a kind of unboxing and review video of some coins which uh, my parents have bought this year. So these aren't Christmas presents, but um, and they're not my coins, they are my parents' coins, but I thought I'd uh, do a video on them to show you guys um, how cool these coins are. And, and these are the set of the silver-proof coloured uh, Beatrix Potter 150-year anniversary coins. And we've got um, the four different ones to show you. have got um, Peter Rabbit, Miss Tiggy Winkle, Jemima Puddle Duck, and the last one, Squirrel Nutkin. Um, all fantastic little coins. Um, they're very much sitting in the collector's um, coin category rather than uh, sort of silver bullion uh, weight category. So um, yeah, they come in uh, kind of a cool Perspex uh, display case, display box, uh, and as you can see, they are really very very nice coins. Uh, that one there, squirrel nutkin. Uh, on the reverse, it's not coloured; it's just the queen's head. Uh, but these are the silver, solid silver proof ones, uh, struck in nine and nine silver. So they're very cool, and um, yeah, so I thought I'd, rather than unboxing each one and you sit there um, bored of me watching, you know, watching me unbox things over and over again, I thought I'd have those three out and already in, but I'd show you what you get if you wanted to buy them. I don't know if these are still available from the Royal Mint, but I know that they are certainly still on the market, um, you know, second-hand market in that sense from uh, collectors and sellers through eBay and various other places. Um, some um, of these coins have performed a lot better than others, so the Peter Rabbit coin I believe is like three or four times what um, worth what three or four times what uh, you would have paid for it if you bought it straight from the Royal Mint. Uh, but really lovely presentation box, absolutely really nice quality. Um, it's got obviously the tail of Peter Rabbit uh, on the back there and um, yeah, really nice high quality box. So you've got sort of a little cardboard sleeve there. Uh, inside the box it's still very simple really, you just get the nice Peter Rabbit um, display Perspex box um, which is very very cool so we'll show you Peter Rabbit um, you can actually uh, take these Perspex things apart, they're not very um, difficult to take apart uh, just held together by magnets um, and then the Peter Rabbit coins in a capsule as well so it's nice and protected um, but they're really very cool coins, and if you're any kind of um, fan of Beatrix Potter books, um, you know, then these are really very special. Um, you know, my parents are not stackers, they're not um, massive coin collectors, but my mum was a huge fan of the Beatrix Potter books. She grew up with them, and we used to have them when I was growing up. So uh, they're very, very cool, and um, I think they're quite a special buy for her. So, uh, yeah, I really like them. I think they're fantastic little coins. Um, they each come with uh, their own... COA obviously, so uh, here's the one for Peter Rabbit. Uh, I'm not going to show you each one, um, but that's the Peter Rabbit one. Uh, they all have the same mintage, I believe, of 16,000, uh, but 15,000 of them are in this limited edition presentation uh, box. And some information there as well. I'm not going to read that out, you can pause it and read it if you so wish. Um, so, really nice COA, so that's always a good thing to see. Uh, you know, as I said in previous videos, sometimes these lovely nice proof coins end up with really poor COAs um, and really let the coin experience down. Um, but what's really cool about this as well is each one comes, each coin comes with its own um, little booklet about the character. Um, so you've got a little bit of information about uh, Beatrix Potter in there, uh, but also then you've got um, all of the information about Peter Rabbit and how or what Peter Rabbit was all about. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to again read any of this out, but you know, if you want to have a pause and have a quick look and read through them, uh, then be be my guest, more than happy. Um, they're very very cool, and again, really high quality, really nice, um, really cool thing to have as a little extra. Um, so we've got one for each of those, as I said. There's one for Miss Tiggy Winkle, uh, one for Jemima Puddle Duck, and one for Squirrel Nutkin as well. Um, so let's have a look at the, the coins then um, quickly. We've got um, Jemima Polduck here. So I believe that like Peter Rabbit, he was the um, he's the star of the show. So basically that's why he's ended up performing the best of these coins in terms of like what people are paying for them now that the Royal Mint has I think run out of them. 
Um, but Jamama Powder Duck, very cool as well. Uh, again, it's all uh, in 99 silver. So again, you're not paying for this in um, silver weight. You're paying for these as kind of art pieces, display pieces. I have to excuse all the cat fur that's in my house. My parents' house, lots of cat's fur everywhere. But yeah, so Jemima, that's Jemima Puddle Duck. And then we've got uh, Miss Tiggy Winkle. And they're all done really, really nice quality. And I think also really done very well in the kind of colour scheme that um, was actually in the Beatrix Potter books. So rather than a garish kind of colours for each of these, uh, you know, they're really, really nice uh, quality colours as well. Uh, and I like the sort of white um, foam background in the capsule there, it really kind of accentuates the uh, the beauty of these little coins, so they're really cool. And of course I do like the um, the Perspex um, holders as well, I think they're very cool, because these are coins that are really designed for being display coins. Um, you know, I'm, I don't know quite how they're going to perform as an investment coin across uh, 5, 10, 15 years. If I'm judging them based on what I normally judge them on, which is if a coin is uh, a pretty coin, I think it usually will do quite well. I do think these are fantastic little sets. I think the coins are very, very pretty. I think uh, they'll probably do quite well, but I don't really know in all honesty because uh, it's not really something I've ever uh, purchased. I think the best of the lot is Peter Rabbit, but then he's just kind of, you know, Peter Rabbit's always been the most popular character, uh, but his little blue uh, jacket does stand out really well and that cute little rabbit face that he's got as well. So, yeah. Interesting. Let me know your thoughts. I'd be interested to know if any of you have um, picked up any of these um, special Beatrix Potter coins um, as they came out for the 150th anniversary this year. Um, if you have, do let us know. Uh, here's the little squirrel nutkin um, sort of story uh, as well, so I can show you each of these. Uh, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see if any of you guys have bought these and what you think about them. Uh, so do leave comments in the uh, comment section. And uh, if you like this video, please make sure you hit a little thumbs up for it. Um, if you haven't watched one of these before, I do these kind of videos just as a kind of almost like a little bit of a review of these coins. So if you've um, if you've liked this and you found it interesting, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps spread the word for other people who might be looking for it as well. Um, also, um, make sure you subscribe. I've got quite a few other little cool videos coming up in the next couple of weeks um, and into the new year as well. So it should be quite a fun little period. Um, so that's this one is was well, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, wasn't it? Yes, it was the Miss, Miss Tiggy Winkle. And then the last one, just to show you, which I believe then right, um, finishes the lot, is Jemima Pell Duck. And um, yeah, let me know which is your favourite. Definitely Peter Rabbit for me, but it'd be interesting to know what you guys think, which is your favourite of the four. Um, otherwise, I just want to say a massive thank you for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and I wish you all the most happiest new year um, in the next coming week or two. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching and please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.